East J. Ellie Gibson. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? All right. All right. Uh, today, okay, Monday we won't have class. Remember that. That's a holiday. And so we're going to, who was singing there? Did y'all hear that singing? Uh, it was the recording on YouTube and me a little bit, you know. Okay, so I heard that. <laughs> you know, I that, song, what that, was. <laughs> that song Get got us. me through. <laughs> we got it got me through. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I know there's some new ones in here. So I thought, man, I just played that a little bit. And uh, it got me through the hard times, Mahaya, when I was. Well, I tell you what, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, prayers and uh, songs got me and my husband through some rough times. And I went through, uh, I went through some stuff myself, uh, illnesses, you know, that uh, uh, we depended on those songs. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it has. Okay, let's get started here. And what I um what we're gonna do today. So Monday, remember, there's no class. There's no class Monday. And we're gonna kind of go over back on some stuff that we had previously, so that we can um uh, uh, not forget it. And so we're going to kind of review a little bit today. And the reason why we're reviewing is just so, because being a Friday, we get out at three today. So we're going to kind of go back over some stuff and make sure that you remember this stuff. And we're going to be doing that for a while, going back, going forward, backing up a little bit, going forward. And next week's lessons, we're going forward, though. And we will come back once in a while. Okay, it's done going. Jokaya Dega Istungun Jokaya Dega. We don't have good morning, so we have to say, did you make it through the night okay? Did you make it through the morning? To the to morning. To morning. Okay. And that's one of the things that uh we say to um to for good morning. Um so we say, Did you make it through the night okay? Did you make it to the morning okay? And that's what that is. Okay, remember we was doing uh, sounds here a few days ago. 
So now we're going to hit tones. Tones. The Muscogee language has tones. Okay. So creek. That's one way of knowing that we're uh, that that makes a difference. The tone makes a difference in meaning. The tone makes a difference. It can look the same and sound the same, but the tone changes the meaning of the word. Okay, like nagi. Nagi can be a thing, but nagi, hear that tone? Nagi is a thing. Nagi is what? Okay, nagi, hear that tone? I want y'all to see that nagi is a thing. Nagi is nagi. what? Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's what one of the things that I'm, um, my little granddaughter is going through now. She keeps asking me, nagi. Nagin is what? Like, what did you say? Nagin or nagi. See? Nagi. And she, uh huh. There's that tone. That tone. And the Muscogee language does have tones. It has an accent. It has an accent. It has tones. So that changes the meaning of a word. And it's a. Uh, so our tone has a lot to do, just like situation and environment, has a lot to do with our language, okay? Has a lot to do with our language. And that's one of the things that uh, um, we try to teach is tones. Okay. It says consonants can be double, then hell longer. Okay, if you look at tree, it don't... Ido, that's a tree. But when you say snake, you see that double consonant, the D, D, the D, D there, the double consonant right there. You got to pronounce both of those, and that's why it means it's hell a little longer. Jito, jito. And you don't hear that first T because your tongue is on top of your palate. If you say it, you will feel that D. Jitto. Jitto. <laughs> Tail. Hudgy. Hudgy. And stream. Hudgy. See how they sound the same? Hudgy. But hudgy. The tail is more blunt sound, short sounded. Hudgy. Hudgy. But the stream, Hudgy. See how it's held a little longer? And that's because uh, they look the same. One's just got an extra C. Got a G in it, but still yet, that tone changes that meaning. Okay? It changes that meaning. Okay, right here it says, try to hear whether it's saying the ah. B or G word, okay? Now look at A, I mean A. Loxa, loxa. Loxa. Uh-huh, that's a hoof. But mm -hmm. when you say loxa, see how it's held a little longer? Loxa. That's a liar. Lapsa is a hoof, and it's short. It's got a short sound. It's blunt. Lapsa. Lapsa is a hoof. But when you look at a liar, it's lapsa. See how tones changes that? Okay, a vine. It's bugga. Bugga is a vine, but Hunting is faga. Faga. See how it's held a little longer? Faga. Faga. Okay, here we go again. 
Haji, Haji, Haji. Haji is a tail. Haji is a river. Haji is drunk. Haji. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, now look at this one. This is a real, this is where tones are going to come in really hard here. Haji. Ili. Ili is a foot. Uh huh. Is a foot. But Ili. Ili is dead. Ili. See how? Okay, that's where tones coming in, guys. Ili. Ili is a foot. Ili. See how that's held a little longer? Ili. That's dead. Okay, here's another one. Ihi. Ihi is a husband. Ihi. See how that's held longer? It means yes. But they're spelled the same. Ihi is her husband or a husband. Ihi is yes. Okay, see, now this is what I was telling you. See how that changed the meaning of the word. Ihi is husband. Ihi is yes. But they're spelled the same. But the tone changes the meaning of the word. <clears throat> do we have a beginner's class? Yes, we do. This is a, a, a we had beginner's class Tuesday. Okay. And actually, this is a beginner. Uh, in language, it's uh, everybody starts with kindergarten, <laughs> first grade, <clears throat> pre K. Okay. A thing, Nagi. And then what? Nagi. Nagi, see, it's hell. He's looking at it. He just, he just, he just, but he sees it. He just, see how it's hell? Mm -hmm. And that's where tones changes the meaning of the word. And we're just going back over there. We're just reviewing, guys, but we went through this before. But a lot of times, you know, uh, Especially uh, learners, they sometimes they forget. So we're doing a review today, and it's one of those things where you just have to get used to it. And then the first question is, uh, uh, how do you know? You have to know the word, and that's why we go through these different words. Like if it says hoof. You know it's la sa, la sa. But if it's a liar, you would say la sa, okay? And this is where identifying words, like we went through those sentences yesterday. There was new words in there, and that's where you're learning the new words, and you're learning how to use them. You're learning how to spell them. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So. This is where tone comes in a lot in language. Situation environment comes in with language. So, you know, it's just, and we're going to go through all of these guys. Pair up, practice saying, okay. V, that's a a uh, or a a. Ah. One is short and blunt. A uh, is short and blunt. Ah. Is held longer. Listen to the following words as they are read and try to figure out whether the sound is a ah uh or a uh. Okay, a grasshopper, this is where you're going to learn words now. A grasshopper is duffel. 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 What do you hear? Duffel. Remember, V is a short blunt sound, uh, and that ah is held a little longer. Duffel. That's a 
sounds like a uh, like a uh sound. Okay, here's one. Coffee. This is Creeklish. We didn't have coffee back in, and uh, in, well, our ancestors didn't have coffee. So they had to make Creeklish. And when I say Creeklish, I mean by uh, our, the English word is made to sound, to make the sound of a Muscogee word. So coffee is coffee. Coffee. Uh huh. Coffee. And you know, my, I got one little grandson that he loves coffee. And uh, he'll say, coffee. He'll ask me for, when he asks, he asks, in fact, last night he asked me for coffee. He said, Grandma, can I have coffee? You know, that's how uh, he pronounces it just like I do. Coffee. Okay, turtle. Luja. 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 My grandfather. Jabo mm -hmm. ja. Hear that? How that's stretched out? Jabo ja. Ja. Anytime you got the ja, just the grandfather is boja. Just grandfather in general is boja. But when you add the ja here, the C A, that means it belongs to you. Okay. It belongs to you. And remember now, that's a possessive pronoun. Anytime you got something that you can't transfer, like um, you're hungry, uh, your mother, your father, your body parts, you use ja. Okay. So this belongs to you. Jabo ja. That means it's possessive and you own it. Okay. That can't be transferred that you can't give away. So when I say jabo ja, I'm saying my grandfather. But when I say boja, it's just in general a grandfather. Okay, a grandfather. <coughs> Gaba. Gaba. What are y'all hearing that? Gaba. I hear a ah. I hear a ah because it's held a little longer. Gaba. Gaba. Rebecca. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. There you go. Stroll up a little bit. There you go. Uh -huh. Couldn't see it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So see? Mm -hmm. Now, gaba. <laughs> Hear that? Ah, oh, it's here a little longer. Gaba. <laughs> a cow. Waga. Waga. Uh huh. Waga. There you go. Waga. It can't be waka. If we had a uh, <laughs> it would be waka. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. And that's wrong. See how this, see waga. And it's hell. The ah uh is a little longer. And it's hell. La waga. Okay. Here we go with crinklish again. A car. Adami. This has got two sounds in there now. Got the ah uh mm. and the da. The uh. Adami. Adami. And that's that's Creeklish for auto, automobile. And you know, back then people said auto. So they say Adami. Adami. Mm. Okay, a hawk. Ayo. 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 Buffalo. Yanasa. Hear those blunt sounds? Yanasa. Yanasa. And I'll, be, I'll get into every one of these sounds are in your sound papers that y'all had. In those uh, single letter, two letter, and three letter sounds. They're in there. Yanasa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Apple. Sada. Sada. To me, that's a ah. Uh, hear it? Sada. Sada. A peach. Bagana. Bagana. 
I say that's the uh and the ah uh and then uh. Bagana. Bagana. And this is going to help you uh, pronounce too. It's going to help you uh, pronounce your words. Halbada. 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 Uh -huh. There you go. Halbada. Mm -hmm. Halbada. So Halbada. it's got a e, a, li. B, a, di, a. Halbada. Halbada. And so see, uh, see these things? This is the tone is what helps the language too. You okay. know, uh, yeah. tone is something that we have in, you know, people. Uh -huh. the, part, the part that gets confusing to me, I guess, when it comes to spelling the word itself, and you don't have the A and the B filled in already is, the V is kind of the uh sound also. Uh -huh. right. So uh -huh. when when I'm when I'm trying to spell the word, sometimes I get a little confused at whether it's the V or the A. Because okay. the well, A you're saying has the uh uh sound sometimes. It's got an ah, uh, it's long, a little right. longer on that ah, uh, and uh is blunt. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you this, you know. I told you before, I'm not a master at this, but you know, I still get confused with that too. I There'll be times I'll be spelling something and I hear a uh when it's actually a ah. Uh. And I don't know if that's dialect, how we say in it, that it's spelled wrong, how, how we can spell it wrong. I don't know what that is, but we're, you know, like I told you before, you can come in our office and we'll be back there going, oh, Oh, uh, and people wondering what we're doing, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll, we'll come to each other. What do you hear? Uh or uh. And we'll be standing there trying to pronounce this word. Uh, uh, uh. You know, <laughs> we go through this too, you know. And, and we're well, the more we do we. Yeah, you know, we're speakers, but yet, uh, you know, we no. some days we can hear so good our sounds, and some days we are so off. We are so off, yes. and so it's kind of hard to even for us to distinguish some of that. And uh, and this pro this is helping me too, guys. <laughs> this is helping me, <laughs> you know. So like duffel, grasshopper, duffel. That that's a uh, like a short uh, duffel. But then when we come down to coffee, it's coffee. Coffee. You hear that ah? Uh, hey, a little longer. Ah, uh, coffee. And then turtle, loja. Hear that uh, loja, loja. It's got that uh. And it's a S sound, it's a B. My grandfather, Jabuja. Hear that? It's hell longer. Jabuja. So it's a ah. It's a ah. Gaba. Gaba. It's a coach. Now it wouldn't sound right if we said gaba. <laughs> and it, you know, it would be gaba. And waga. Ah, dummy. And you right here, ah, it would start off with the ah sound right here, then end up with the uh, ah, dummy. Ah, dummy. Ah, yo. <coughs> ya, na, sa. Ya, na, sa. See, it's all this short. Ya, na, sa. Sada. Sada. That's where he goes, come in. Bagana, 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 Halbada, Halbada. I think this is helping me. <laughs> 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 you know, like I said, some days our spelling is right on. 
And some days, you know, we just, and I'm going to tell you, sometimes we'll be editing a paper and it'll go through six pairs of eyes and there'll be a misspelling in there. Uh -huh. and, and you know, you know, there's two, four, six, you know, there's, uh, we will, we'll be editing the paper and then somebody will point it out after the fact now, after it's been printed, colored and put out, we're like, oh, <laughs> how did it get through six eyes, six pairs of eyes? Sure. Mahaya. You know? Uh huh. Alligator. Uh huh. It's all V's, right? So uh huh. So it's yeah. All but a, it's all but a. Uh huh. All not, but a. That's not all but a. Uh huh. It's yeah. Not all but a. All but a. All but a. All but a. Uh huh. But if it had an A, it would be all but a. All but a. And that might be uh, something else. Would, so. Yeah. So it would be all but a. All but a. <laughs> it's short black. And you know, um, <laughs> my co-workers, she, she's, a, she's one of my, and me and her grew up together in the same area. In fact, uh, the three speakers that are in here, we were from the same area, went to the same school, grew up together. Our families were together. So we all grew up together. <laughs> She'll be back there going, ah, oh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and saying the word. And, you know, it's even confusing to us sometimes. So don't be, you know, <laughs> don't be, don't be uh, intimidated by this because we have the same thing. Okay. Mahaya, uh -huh. my, uh, my son, Habada, um, he uh, works for the city and takes care because I live in Florida. I live in Osceola uh -huh. County and he takes care of the parks and he had to wrestle Habada off uh -huh. of the playground and he decided oh. to go up the slide. So I will be using that word a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So y'all do have alligators. How about they come into y'all's yards and stuff? Oh yes, ma'am. If we're on the where they are, anytime there's a body of water, there is going to be a gator. Yes, ma'am. So part oh. of his job is managing the animals and it includes, you know, turkeys and boars and you know, all kinds of stuff, but including homida, if I'm saying it right. Yes, ma'am. There's 240 gators in that, that one lake alone. Oh, mercy. Well, you know, I was offered a job in uh, Florida to teach down there. And, oh, wow. Uh, yeah. And, you know, um, they said there was frogs, huge frogs. And I am not a, I'm not a frog person. I am deadly afraid of frogs. They have gigantic and, lizards, too. Oh, yeah. iguanas. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. My sister. And did you know that we also have gators in southeast Oklahoma? Not as well, many you know, as. I've, I've heard that they spotted some in our lakes, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Because that the Red River rolls down, goes all the way down to Louisiana. And that's right, at, basically like a four corner state uh, with Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. Wow. I don't know what I'd do if I met up with one because the, the only time I've seen a gator is um, pinned up in a zoo. But mm. if I saw it out in the wild, I think there's a difference when you see something in the wild and see something, you know, caged up or, you know, I don't know what I'd do. Because I am not a reptile person to begin with. I don't like frogs. I don't like snakes. And, um, I don't like lizards. I don't like lizards. I don't like anything like that. And a frog will give me a heart attack. You want to kill me, just throw a frog at me and I'll guarantee you I'll fall over dead right there. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> so one time my husband chased me with one and I told him, you touch me with that for sure, I will divorce you. And I meant it. I was not laughing. I was oh, okay. not even, I would have left him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so uh, um, it, it, you know I, I'm just not a reptile person so Florida when I heard they had these big old frogs out there that kept me from going that frog one frog the frog kept me from going 
I did not want to go because of the frog. And and uh, in fact, my friend said uh, she was in her little cabin, and uh, well, she had they had a house, and out in the back was a little cabin that she sold in. And she said that frog sat on her in front of her door, so she stayed in that little cabin all night. She wasn't going to come out because she was like me. She's scared of frogs. And I totally understood her fear, you know. So this frog, you know, I, I'm just not a reptile person. Okay, Rebecca. here we go. Rebecca. <laughs> yes. How oh, do you say frog? Kuti? Kuti. Kuti. Uh-huh. But you know what? And we're going to go through this later on. You know, I don't know how long this class go on. I'm just... You know, they tell me do it, I'm doing it. But, you know, there's different kind of frogs, okay? Goody is like a little tree frog. Shrobasta is a toad. Uh, Abadana is a, uh, is the bullfrog. And Uski in Huikoji, that's saying it calls rain. There's those little bitty frogs that come out when it's raining. So we got different birds, we got different frogs, different snakes. We got names for each thing, okay? So we're gonna go through those things. I'm gonna teach you those things so you'll know the difference. Goody is just like a frog, you know, just like a regular frog. Toad, now that, see, the other night, I was coming out my door and there was a toad sitting there because we live out in the country, and I went out my back door, and there was a toad sitting there. Well, I didn't go out my back door. I was not going out my back door because of that toad. And that's called a shobakta. Shobakta. You what like them. You, you know. Uh-huh. What is the one you said that calls the rain? Haram magitsa. Uski in huikoja. Uski in huikoja. Uski is rain and in huikoja means it calls it. Uski in huikoja. Could you spell that, Mahaya? Yeah, I can annotate on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, even just, even just orally spell it, you know. Okay, uh, let me write it down here. <laughs> You're, just, but you're about like me with that. I got to call my sons over to take care of gators and computer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ladies are all fortunate. In California, we killed everything. We kill the frogs. We run over turkey with our cars. It's just awful here. We're just chasing most of the wildlife down towards the homelands. There's wow. almost nothing left in California. Frogs are all gone. We get crickets at night. Um, I'm fortunate in that I live with a bear and a family of deer and some turkey here, but I'm kind of safe up in the mountains. Um, the rest of California, we're just running them out. Well, you know, we have to have frogs. We have to have these to... to to uh, control the environment, like, you know, so they won't be overrun, like you said, you got crickets. You know, um, they can become uh, so many, you know, like locusts and, uh, you know, because they kind of, the, the, it balances out. You know what I'm saying? Like the reptiles eat the bugs and stuff and it balances out the world and you know when you chase them out and we do have respect for our animals you know we do um white tree frog <laughs> and, and you know turkeys you know um somebody said they saw some turkeys too well you know every animal is like a food chain is what i'm trying to say there's a food chain that controls the environment you know and when you do something like that um, it's not good for the world. You well, know, when I, I remember when, when we were little, little girls growing up, my mother used to send us out to 
look for pollywogs so that we can bring them back and keep them in the yard. Yeah. My mom was not afraid of frogs, but she was scared to death of snakes, which we had plenty of. And one thing that California, up here in Northern California, what we're getting is a lot of locusts. Yeah. Um, because everything here is so out of balance because we're so out of touch with the natural world here. Yeah. And I've just, in. I'm 63 and in 50 years, I've just observed everything shifting and changing to, um, signs that we're so out of balance here in this state um i i don't know you know i don't want to be a soothsayer but it's not good it's it's not well good. Uh, i think the whole world is out of balance and that's what uh, my grandson he's a uh, um he's autistic not severe but severe enough that you know but sometimes he and another side of him is that he's really intelligent and um, one day, it was during a holiday, we was, I was sitting with him. And, and, and there's very often that he'll really, really just talk. So I was sitting down and he told me, he said, uh, Grandma? And I said, why, baby? He's 15. <coughs> and he said, uh, you know this pandemic we're going through? And I said, yes. He said, it's because we're out of balance. Mm. Exactly. I've, I've been a nurse. I've been a nurse for 40 years. And that was exactly the message that I received. And for your grandson to have that much wisdom, you know, it's, yeah, um, humans are trying to stay too much in their heads uh -huh. to try to solve problems. Instead, they're creating more that yeah. are unnatural. So it's um, the natural world is it's, it's slowly going away. I don't know if our grand, my great grandkids will ever see a natural world. Wow. You know. Yes, you know. they will. That's why we're here. That's why. Mm. They not see a natural world. Everybody got to go after their land back. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody got to uh, reclaim their land patents mm -hmm. and get back into uh, farming and, and sharecropping. That's, I think that'll right. be a big that's goal. Right. That's right. And you know, my uh -huh. friends, he said. Uh, the cosmos are out of balance. The world's out of balance. And he said, it's going to be a long time before this pandemic goes away because he said once, you know, he said it's going to take us a while to get in balance. And of course, you know, and, uh, and I said, so how do you know all this? And he said, uh, how come you don't know? <laughs> Cause wow. you know, yeah, and, and you know, sometimes he'll just tell me little things here and there, you know. And we lost my mother by, like I said, about eight years ago. And he was close to her. Every day at school, he would come back and show her his drawing, you know, that he drew. And she would just praise him for it and everything. Well, after she died, in the chair that she sat in all the time, he would lay his drawings on there. Wow. And for a long time, we would just really hurting he hurt us more you know because he would just lay his drawings on her chair where she used to sit and because that was his normal routine you know and for an autistic child that's a, they have a routine so he just kept that routine up you know and and that's you know and he told me he said i'm glad grandma's not here during this pandemic because he said she would have been hard to because of this world you know and I thought oh for a little 15 year old autistic child you know you're speaking probably more intelligent than I am you know but he was he was he's just a, he's just a sweet little boy you know and we uh, he doesn't hardly show emotion you know and uh, but he does you know he'll he, once in a while he'll get these insights Oh, bullfrogs. Somebody's got bullfrogs. Somebody's got bullfrogs, tree frogs, possum, ground you know, we, squirrels. We, we still have the uh, the bison used to roam North, North America. While it may not anymore, we still have bison in Southwest Oklahoma. Oh, wow. And I grew, up see, I grew up seeing those uh, in Long Island. You're Oklahoma. lucky. You're lucky. You just don't know how lucky you are. You know, yes. uh, 
Because you know, my, you know, uh, some of these kids, and I'm telling you, and you know, we live out and we don't, well, and I told you about our little community. It's a town, it's got a post office and a school, and that's it. And there's probably a population in, in, in Henna area is probably about 300. We live outside of town. Uh, and even in our, little, in our little deals, one day my daughter, she said, Mom, look what's coming down our road. Because we kind of live off the road, off a of main road there. It's blacktop. And there was six turkeys just running on our road, you know. And then there'd be rabbits out there. There's a fox. You know, uh, deer, they're out there. And uh, my grandkids get to see this. But, you know, there's kids that says uh, the only wild animal they ever seen was in, in, in a zoo. Wow. And, yeah, and, you know, that surprised me. But then I, after thinking about it, it wasn't that much of a surprise, you know. And, and I thought, well, how lucky my grandkids are to... Uh, be able to see them out in the wild and not caged up, you know, but they do, they, uh, they do, um, they do appreciate things like that, you know, so, uh, I, you know, and I tell them, I'm always telling them stories about animals, like, uh, we call the wolf, yaha, the wolf, it's yaha, and hear that blood, yaha, we call him Grandpa Oja, but then also he's kind of a bad omen to us too. You know, it goes both ways. We call him Boja, but sometimes if we see him, it means bad news. So, you know, I tell my little grandkids this stuff, and of course, you know, they're inquisitive because the oldest one is 11, and then they go down from there. Um, they get real inquisitive and you know I, I answer their questions you know and last night we was outside and they heard a, and, and we don't have yaha around here anymore we don't have wolves anymore we have coyotes they heard them last night and they said is that yaha and i said no and see we don't have a name for coyotes we don't have a name for coyotes we call them nifi fuluji Nithi is night and fuluji means they, they are around at night. But I want to get back to the spelling for Oshki in Huikuji. It's O O C G E. And that's O S K E. In Huikuji is E Ni. That's E N. He, U, E, H U E, G, U, G, E, which is K U C E in Huikoji. Ushki in Huikoji. It calls rain. Oh, my. Now, see, you know. I just got a comment that says four dams on the Kalmuth River are going to be torn down soon. Hopefully, the salmon, salmon will have to run free again. You know, that's the thing about our world and their world. Anything was food to us. It was precious to us. We kept every... That's right, right there, right there. Uh, that's the right spelling. It was like uh, we didn't waste nothing, but we kept it. If we went to kill something, we just killed enough for our family or the village. We didn't go over just enough, you know, to save the, and, you know, thank God for it. And, you know, and when you say that the fish, you know, that's food for some tribes in that area. And then, and you know, like the oil leaks and stuff that's coming about, you know, that's just to me that's ruining the environment, a natural environment that we are. Because I look at myself as a person, person of nature, and we are per people of nature. We're nature people. We're we're people of nature. Okay, 
How do you say armadillo? Here's a question, guys. Armadillo, if y'all want to, write that down. Armadillo. Armadillo is called, my grandma used to call it, and I'm going to spell it for y'all. Sambahaga. Sambahaga. Samba is a basket. Yeah. Haga is a maker. Yeah. And Samba is spelled S-V-M-P-B, which would be C-A-M-I-B-A. And he a he a But in a dictionary, It's called Huspi Dagachwi. Huspi is skin. And Dagachwi means hard. Huspi is H V R P E, which would be He A B B E. B A G A G V E, which would be T V K A C. W E. And my grandma used to say way back when they um, on the armadillo, they used to take the the hard part off of the armadillo and they would attach the tail to the other side of the of the skin, of the shell, and it made a basket. Does that make sense to you guys? It made a basket. So Samba Haga, Samba is a basket, and Haga means it makes a basket. So they curl the tail over and attached it to the <laughs> other side, and it made a basket. <laughs> So they used that. She said they would use that, cleaning it and let it dry out. They used that to, as a basket for them to uh, pick things and put it in there. Okay. And how do you say tiger? Gotcha. 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 So there's two, the, the, the dictionary says huspi, the gutchwi means, huspi is like the skin, the gutchwi means hard. But you know, in my, when I was growing up, I always called it sambahaga, sambahaga. And that means it makes a basket. Okay, any more questions? Y'all doing really good, I like this. Uh, uh, Y'all asking questions and me answering them because there's different things on here. And a lot of information here too. Uh, Mahaya. Uh, uh huh. Uh, once upon a time, I had an opportunity to go to um, uh, Florida, to Big Cypress, the school uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. And uh, me What's being a city that? girl at the time, um, I, uh, uh, the janitor was standing there and he says, look over there, because he knew that I was, you know, visiting. So he says, look over there. And I looked and all I could see was something black over there. I didn't have any idea. He said, so, not to I said, get that steer, because they could speak. Uh, yeah, could uh -huh. speak, yeah. Speak like we do. And so anyway, so he was asking me, and because I think he was trying to find out if I could speak could uh, uh, converse with him in Creek. Uh -huh. And uh, so anyway, I said, hmm, I knocked away, get the chair. And he said, uh, he said, Lusty, don't go. And I said, yeah. Uh -huh. And he said, uh, and I don't remember what he called it because I had uh -huh. never heard it, but it was a bobcat. Oh. But he didn't repeat the word again for me <laughs> so that I could remember it because I don't know a lot of animal names, you know, just the main ones, you know, but anyway, growing up where I did, you know, I didn't have 
uh, opportunity to hear the animal names around Oklahoma either. So, okay, now Bobcat, they say Guacoji. Guacoji. Uh huh. Guacoji. Guacoji is bobcat. And then how do you say fox? Chula. Chula. Uh huh. Chula. Also, Mahaya, how do you say wild boar? Because we have a lot wild of those. Wild boar? Uh, yes, you would say Shokha uh, Hunija. Shokha Hunija. Somebody said they seen a purse made out of armadillo. See, they make things out of that shell. Out of that, well, I call it a shell. I don't know what it really is, to tell you the truth. But guacoji, you know, is the, uh, is the a word for bobcat. We have so many where I live, Gono is long as <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that Gono is a dangerous thing. Me and my husband got trapped in there. And like I said, I live out in the country. And I don't know why, but we was going out the front door. Usually we use our carport door. We went out, we was going out the front door and there was a skunk there. And he comes in, he goes, oh God, there's a skunk in front of our door. So I said, well, go out the back. Here we go together. Like uh, we was missing the third stu uh, stooge. We was going out the back door and there was another one. And I said, what are we going to do? He said, give them a while. They'll leave. You know, they'll leave. I bet you we sat in the house 30 minutes before. And we and I was going to the front door. He was going to the back door. And then we switched files. I go to the back door. He go to the front door. And we got trapped in our house by the by skunk, by skunks, you know. But uh, it's a, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we've had raccoons, we've had possums in our backyard, in our backyard. Becky? And uh, uh huh. Um, I did. I can't see on the screen where you spelled bobcat. I would like okay, to know. I'm going to spell it to you. I'm going to spell it okay, to you, okay? Okay. Okay. And somebody wanted to know hummingbird. I'm going to get to that here in a little bit. Go, ki, u, we, a, ki. So that's K U W B K K U C E. E U G E O W G K U what C E C E okay that's good for us to know we live in Arizona and about two months ago one one hopped into our backyard for oh, we my. breakfast so oh. oh now see we live out in the country but not you know like that if we did that we'd be frozen and they'd eat us so that's a <laughs> We okay. well, we live in the city. I mean, not the city, oh, the suburbs, suburbs out, out, out from uh, the outer skirts of Scottsdale. Oh my God! Well, you know what? They just here in Oklahoma, there's a little town uh, not far from us. Uh, you have to go down 69 Highway, and there's a little, uh, there's a Walmart in what we call Shakota, Oklahoma, and there was a bear out in this parking lot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and people, you know, they spotted bear, you know, bears in, in Oklahoma, you know. Okay. Ohio. Somebody wants to know hummingbird. Hansan Jukwoji. Hansan Jukwoji. And I'm going to spell that for you. He Afni, which is H V N. The Afni. R B N G U G 
which is C-U-K. We-U-G-E, which is W-U-C-E. Han Than Jokwoji. Than Jokwoji. Han Than. Okay, it says the raccoons are tearing up our hanging hummingbird feeders at night in our backyard. Can you say all that in Creek? Okay, this, uh, that's right, but you got R, you need a V right there, as in Victor, and then N. And then right here, you need a U, which is a U, right here where the V is. The B is a V, a B as in Victor, and the V over here is U as in U, okay? Okay, uh, what what got Hansan Jokoji home badge? Niti. Our raccoons are turning up our hunger hummingbird feeders at night in our backyard. Okay, you would say, uh, what got Hansan Jokoji home badge? Niti, your thought. Bumoho Banidos. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Did y'all get that right here, uh, Mitchell? It's a. Uh, there you go. There you go. That's right, right there. That's it. Hantan Jokoji. Hantan Jokoji. How do we say the e? Uh huh. In my red dictionary, uh -huh. my, my hummingbird doesn't have an R-V-N. It's just hummingbird. Now, I don't know how they're pronounced. And that's where uh, different people have got different way of saying it. Like I said, uh, like armadillo, they call it husky uh, uh hard skin. But now my grandma always called it uh, Sambahaga. See, there's a difference. And I'm going to check this right here. I'm going to check mine. Little Mouth, right. Who got that? Little Mouth. <laughs> Let me check my dictionary just to see. While well, she's going to check her dictionary, who is the one that lives in North Scottsdale? Because I worked on Gila River for... 25 years. Judy St. Arnold. Oh, you're, I'm Ella. You're Mark. Ella. Yes, my sister Pauline Fabian mentioned that you were from Arizona. I was hoping uh -huh. to speak with you. Uh -huh. I live in I live in North Mesa right now. Oh, but okay. My daughter. Uh, oh. But I, uh, like I said, uh, I lived in uh, Sun Lakes and worked in, at Gila River, Casablanca uh -huh. for 25 years. Right. Would you be interested in getting together? Sure. Um, let me give you my email. Okay. H O K T I 51 at cox.net. Okay. I'm so bright. Okay. Yeah, I see where it says Hassan. Hassan Sa Jokwa. And the other one is Sun Sa Jokwa. See, there's several different ways. And then the other one, Dan Sa Jokwa. Sun Sa Jokwoji. <laughs> there's about five different ways here. How you doing, Uncle Frank? So, uh, you know, I guess it's where the area you're from and how they say it, maybe. That's the only way I can explain that, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a good question. And that's where uh, basket maker Hadam Magas in Muskogee. Samba. Sambahaga. 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 That's what we call it around this area. But now in a dictionary, it says, Hasbi Dagachwe. Hasbi Dagachwe. Can you spell it for me again in Muskogee? The, which one? Uh, the Samba. Samba? 
SVM PB, which would be C A M E P A. Uh huh. Aga, he a, I mean he, I mean H A K V, Haga, which is he a ki a. Maru. Uh huh. So all these, you know, um, like I said, there's five different ways to say it. Everybody had a different way of saying it, maybe in a different area. And there may be even more than this, who knows, you know. Um, that's the way I learned to say it. So, and then there's like five different ways here. So, any more questions? This is nice here, guys. <laughs> Yeah. You. Okay. Okay. How's everybody going to be doing for uh, Labor Day? I'm not going to do a thing. I cleaned my house the other day. I <laughs> did everything so I wouldn't have to do it. And I'm going to go watch, and our football games are starting. So, uh, OU, OU is our team. Uh, so, we're going to go watch the game, their first game. Yeah, And Boomer. we are OU fans. Boomer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> All the, way, all the way down in Texas now. I'm going to open it down in Texas. All right. There you go. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay. We got OSU. You know what? I was OSU. And my husband was so, he's, well, let me put it this way. I have OU curtains on my window in my uh, den. Okay. He put OU and I had all my little knickknacks on this, uh, on these shelves. I got one, two, three, four shelves, and I had little my all my little knickknacks. He goes by me a curio, puts all my stuff in there, and he's got OU chips, OU soap, OU gum, OU cars, OU helmet, OU this, OU that. That fills up that whole four shelves and it goes from the top of the ceiling to the floor. He's got OU lamps. And he told me when we got married, this is not going to be a house divided. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go over toes next class. We will. We just kind of got into this. We got off, but that's okay. You learn something, right? You did learn something different, and that's okay. We'll go over tones again. We'll go over them. That's, that's no problem, guys. But, like, um, you know, we're all, he's OU, and he said, we're not going to be house divided. So I kind of converted. <laughs> and, and I'm kind of interested in it. I'm not really a football fan, but I do watch it with him. Okay. We got two minutes. Let's see. Okay, let's go through this. E, I, or E. Do the same for I, or E, how long? Ijo. Ijo is a deer. Hear that short sound? Ijo. Bigi is a heart. Hear that long? Thank you, Uncle Frank. And we'll go back over this. We will go back over this. Bigi. They'll be right there. Hold on. Come in. E1 what? E1 what? Oh my, they're going to watch that rocket take off. Cool. And by the way, Mitchell, my husband's Mitchell too. <laughs> my husband is Mitchell. I'm right here, Uncle Fred. Hold on. I just. I got to do something for you. Hold on. So, okay. Hasiskiska. Hamgat. Right here. 
Adam, just want to go Y'all have a good holiday. Free bus. Y'all have a good holiday and be safe. You too, Mahaya. It was uh, a great class. <laughs> oh, okay. it was, wasn't it, to me? And yeah. we got off to what we were supposed to study, but that's okay because we can always go back to this. And this is one thing about class, on especially like this. Uh, I have a lesson plan and everything that I go by, but you know, sometimes you just have to throw it out the window and do something different. And this is okay. So to hit a guy this eager Egypt, you watch yourself, uh, be safe through the holiday. And I'll see y'all again. Mado guys. Mado. 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 Mado, Mitchell. Mado. That means a lot to me. And I'm going to share more with y'all guys. I'm going to share all I can with you so that I can leave it to somebody. Okay. And, um, you know, yeah. it's, it's, this is what I, I have to leave it. You know, so. And you're gonna be one of them, my dog guys. You hit a guy this You are a treasure, my dog.